Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. I've just been out just now just to pick up an absolutely free lawnmower. So here we go. It's a bit of a mess, but it's completely free. It's been stood for around four or five years. It was on Facebook Marketplace. So I thought, as it's local, I'll go and get it and have a bit of fun and see if we can fix this up. I've not done a video for a while, so I've actually been on holiday, but I'm back now. And I've got this uh, Briggs & Stratton Titanium 46S, so let's drag it out and let's take a look at it. Let's see if we can turn a profit on this really tatty old mower. Right, so here we are. Um, the reason he's saying this won't start is that it just stuck in a shed or somewhere anyway, it's filthy as you can see. He said it, it um, the pull cord don't feel like it pulls over properly, but if I actually pull this lever here, it's really stiff. And I just wonder if you haven't been releasing this properly, that cable's really stiff. Um, when I try and pull it over, it's, it appears to pull over okay. Now, he said there's some fuel in this, I've had a look and there's quite a bit in it. And I want to pull this over and I want to start this up. Apparently I'm, uh, I'm not allowed because the washing's out. Uh, so what I might do now is just drag this around the corner. And let's go see if we can just fire this up. Let's just have a quick look under here and make sure this blade's on right. Yeah, that looks like it's all alright, doesn't it? It doesn't look bent or anything. So, yeah, I'm just filming, mate. I've got, uh, got you with me today, haven't I, pal? You're open, aren't you? You're waiting to build a claw machine, aren't we? See, I try and do all this stuff in between doing all other stuff, don't I? We've just been and got some wood, haven't we? And we're going to build a claw machine. We just come back off holiday and we've been playing, you know when you try and win them teddy bears on them claw machines? So he wants to make one, don't you? So we're going to try and fire this up first, let's give it a go. You know that day when you get back from holiday and you've just got everything to wash and do stuff with, so... It's a bit like that at the minute, but I've got my tripod. Come on mate, I'll go and have a go at this, eh? There's actually someone over here making more noise than me today, so that's good. When I start this up it might not be so noticeable. Right, let's just try and fire this up. At the front. So... There's a bit of fuel in it, but I'm not concerned about that, but let's try it anyway. Right. Huh. Well, that, well, that was easy. I've connected the spark plug back up and pulled it over, and it runs, but it's running too fast. So I'm going to take the air filter box off. We'll just have a quick look at these governor springs. If it was revving up and down, I changed the diaphragm from a gasket. As most of my subscribers will know, I think I've got about six and a half thousand subscribers now, which is, I'm always amazed when I see that. So, if you've subscribed, thanks very much, I do appreciate that. Right, what have we got here? Yeah, there's something not right there, isn't there? This is just all caught up with dirt and mess, it's just not moving freely. Let's just have a proper look at that. And the governor springs just start, basically aren't springing about. I think the problem with this is, under this recoil cover, somewhere near this governor flap assembly, there'll probably be a lot of grass stopping this part here from moving freely. So I'll take this recoil cover off, we'll have a look under there, and if we can stop this running so fast, I think this mower will run okay. Right, so I've finished building the claw machine. Um, I've just had loads of teddies in here. I've just been building this this afternoon, so it's boiling out. I'm, uh, I'm a bit cream crackered, to be honest, but I might just take this recoil cover off here. We'll just have a look and see why this governor flap isn't actually moving properly. It needs to be moving freely this. If it isn't, that's why it's just revving so high. So let's just spend a few minutes doing this. I'm just going to whip this uh, spark plug cover off here. Let's see if I can get that off with one hand. That's it. That's off. And I'm going to do what I've always done on loads of these videos. Just get a 10mm socket and just undo this recoil cover. In fact, that feels quite slack already. Let's just take this off. I'm hoping this is just full of grass. I'm going to remove it. And fire this mower up, it'll actually uh, find a balance and keep the revs nice and even rather than revving too fast like it was. So I'm just going to take this part off and we'll take a look. Right, so you're witnessing first hand with me something I've never come across before with a mower. And I've just taken this recoil cover off as you can see. And this is really quite unique, I've never ever seen this. Someone must have had a tinker in here, but look at that ignition coil there. Look how it's all splayed out there. It's as if it hadn't been set up properly or it's been bashed in or someone's had a go at putting it back on. But look how it's scrape these lines into this flywheel here. This ignition coil, I think someone's been in here because the recoil cover was kind of slack. I've never seen that. I've, I mean, it's tight, look at that. Someone's had a go at setting this ignition coil and they made a real mess of this. So I'm gonna look and see if I've got another one. I'm gonna refit 
an ignition coil but I've never seen that and that's why it feels like these springs aren't moving correctly because this isn't actually sat in the correct place I've actually freed it off there's loads of grass around it but it's just because it's not together I mean look at that what's happening here somebody's been in here and made a real mess so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to have a look and replace this ignition coil I'm pretty sure I'll have one of these in the garage yeah I've never seen that let's have a look in this uh, box I ain't got loads of spares at the minute but I've got a few let me just put that down here I'm pretty sure I'll have an ignition coil as well. Let's go and have a look in my magic box, eh? I've actually sold my own SP470 more I've had for years and years. I've actually kept the Massport one, I like it so much. Um, I've really, really enjoyed using that. I hope I've got an ignition coil in here. I've got a governor flap. I really do hope I've got one. If not, I've got a spare engine around the back of the garage. I'll have to take one off that. I would have thought I'd have one of them. I'm not giving up that easy. Right. Let's have a quick look. What have I got here? Has everybody got drawers like these or is it just me? I ain't even sure what I've got anymore to be honest. I would have thought I'd have an ignition car. It's quite bothering me quite, quite a lot that I haven't been able to find one. There we are. Remember, I think this was off that qual cast I got given. Remember, I got two qual casts given for free. And I said just unbolt the engine because one day you might just need the spares. Well, today's that day, isn't it? And in fact, I think it was off exactly the same mower as this anyway. But uh, if I take this recoil cover off here and then just swap this ignition card, I think I'll have a working mower again. So let me just do that. So for anyone who's new to doing this and repairing these for profit, what I'm trying to show you here is, you see the side of this ignition car here where it touches this flywheel? You can see there it's flat. Well this one's like splayed out, you see there? Well it's splayed out, so I'm just going to undo that one, take that one off and swap it over with this. I can't really understand how it's got to that point to be honest. Any, uh, anyone who's got any guesses about how that's got as bad as that, leave me a comment in the comments section below this video. It's really easy to change these over as well, all you've got to do is get a quarter inch socket and just undo it. Just unscrew the whole thing and I'll show you how to reset it in a minute. It's really quite simple, you just need a piece of card about the width of a, a playing card or even a greetings card, I'll be fine. So just take that off. Under here, you can see the electrical connector, which is there. You just unhook that and take that one away. Basically, that's the whole thing removed. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, I'm not sure what's gone on there. Let's have a look in here make sure everything looks like it's alright. Once I go clean out, I'll have to blast that out with the compressor. Um, and I'll do all that when I service it, but I just want to see if it runs first. Make sure these aren't bent as well. There's quite a lot of damage to that flywheel as well, but as long as the magnets are still there, it should still fire up as it did before. I'm amazed that run actually. I'm amazed that run. So let's whip this other one off here. And let's simply swap it over. Well, that's the one I've taken off on the right, and on the left is the one I'm going to replace it with. Of course this all wants to go clean up before I put that on, but I'm just going to put it on and just check this mower runs alright. I think the reason people sometimes give things away for free is because they know they've had a go at it. They know they've made a mess at it and they don't want any comebacks. And they know if they don't sell it and make themselves a profit, no one's going to bring it back. You can't exactly take it back if you're giving it away for free. Whereas um, I suppose if I'd spent a bit of money on it and he said it was running alright, we'd have had a problem. But um, I'm just going to swap this over. Just a simple case really of just connecting this wire, putting it back on. I'm going to get a piece of card. I normally keep a piece of card in here, which of course I can't find now when I'm filming a video. I normally just a, a piece of card off a spark plug, uh, spark plug box, which I can't find. And I just set the gap by putting the card in between this flywheel and this ignition coil. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. I just push the wire on from underneath. Don't forget to do that. Of course, it definitely won't start if you don't do that. But just push the wire on from underneath first of all. So just get that connector on like that, that way around. Push this on. Like you can see there, I'm just going to put this back in here. Take some cobwebs off here. I'm going to service this up if it runs, but like I said, I just want to try it for now. I'll just put that back in there. I'm going to get the other part and just slide it down there as well. So once you've got this back in here, make sure you govern a flap. This is a governor flap, is attached properly at the top. Make sure you've got this linkage in here before you start. Just turn this flywheel until there's a point where there's no magnets. Now I normally just keep a piece of card, like a, a piece of card off the top of a spark plug uh, box as well. And just slide it down a gap. I'll just push it down like that. I usually just turn this flywheel until it tries to grab with a magnet again. That way it kind of pushes itself 
nice and tight up against where you want it to be. Something thinner than that ideally would be better. But that just sets the gap really and that's uh, accurate enough and I've never had a problem doing it that way. So once I've got it like that I'm just going to tighten this ignition coil back up against this card and remove the card by spinning this flywheel. Simple as that. So I've just tightened those two bits up against there. Just turn this flywheel and just pull this card out. Quite tight. You'll actually have a gap. See there, just remove that paper from there. You'll actually have a gap. What you're looking for is a gap like that, just between this flywheel and this ignition coil. And that's all you need to do. And now you can see, now I've got a gap, I've got an even gap here, you can see, between the ignition coil and this flywheel. And I've actually pulled this car back out, there's actually a bit stuck in there. This governor flap actually opens and closes properly. And when I go to these governor springs here, you see how everything springs? Well, it wasn't doing that before, it was just kind of stuck open. This thing was just smashed into this flywheel. So I'm going to refit this uh, pulley, this pull cover, this pull card cover, and we'll just try and start this up. And I think this is going to run fine. And without this moving, without this governor flap moving correctly, and all these springs springing back like that, and having the correct gap like that, there's no way this mower would maintain an even speed. So let's just refit this cover. I'm going to pull this over, and I think I'm going to have a good working mower. It's a bit tatty. I haven't even cleaned it up yet, but I think it's going to run all right. And this could be a, it could be a cheap little sale. I might not make much, maybe 40, 50 pounds. Having said I've got it for free and I've only spent sort of 10 minutes on it, it's probably going to take me less than an hour. I'm probably going to make myself between 40 and 50 pounds profit, I would imagine. Just for really going and picking up a free mower. So let's refit it and let's refire this mower up. Right, apologies for the wind, but let's see if this mower actually starts up. All I've done is the, uh, the ignition coil, so let's just give it a try. Right, I've just had a nice smile off the lady driving past I was doing that. This looks like it's going to explode. Actually, you can probably hear it's running really well. And as I've mentioned in loads of videos, this white smoke problem isn't a problem at all. It will burn off. It's just because it's either got too much oil or it's been tipped up. It's probably not just been used. I've had it tipped up to check the blade. But within five minutes of running, this will have gone. So I'm going to leave this running and I'll get back to you. But as you can tell, it's running great. I mean, it started up pretty much straight away once I put this spark plug cap back on anyway. So I'm going to run this for a few minutes and I'll come back to you. Right, so I've left this running for about three or four minutes just to show you the difference. go. Still running a little bit rough once servicing but most of the white smoke problem has gone so don't bin your mower just because it's got a white smoke problem. So I've got sort of two schools of thought with this. I could either strip this down. I know people would strip this down and repaint the deck and you could actually make this look nice new. It starts and runs great. Or you could just sell it. Now you know this, you're going to lose a bit of profit if it looks as untidy as that. So what I'm going to do with this mower I'm going to go around and blast all the worst bits out of it with a compressor and just wash this off and make it clean and tidy. And I'm just going to list this. I got this for free. And if I make £40 profit on that, I'm happy. I don't think I can get this too good without spending an awful lot of time. If you look at the deck here, the paint's all gone on the back. It wants painting up. I just don't have the time currently to do it all. 
as I'm, uh, I'm into some of the projects as well at the minute and I've actually got this uh, this I want to paint and I put the back this brake cable's quite stiff it's just a bit tatty it will take a lot of doing for not a lot more profit so depending on, on what you like to do with these you can do two things really you can either make it look like new again and go for the maximum amount of profit or you can just turn it around as quickly as possible and sell it at, you know less profit but it's still quicker you can get more done that way it's entirely up to you but one thing I would say is never never send it out without washing it off or at least going around it with a hose pipe and a compressor and just taking all the thick dirt off it really does make a difference when you list these mowers and I'll just leave it wet a bit while I take these photographs and it just shines it up even just spray a bit of WD-40 over the paint that looks pretty good and that will help you uh, get people interested in this mower anyway but for me this starts and runs and it cuts as it should just somebody's had a go at fixing it which is you know all well and good isn't it you know but they've made a real mess and luckily for me this is how we make a profit so if anyone's looking to get started repairing lawnmowers for profit this is ideal type of lawnmower you're looking for this Brigden Stratton 35 classic engine on it here really simple to work on you can get all the parts for it once you've got a couple as I've shown there with these uh, spare engines here you can just sort of rub bits off it and get this running so I'm just going to clean this up with a hose pipe and just give it a bit of a clean up for five minutes I'm going to list this on Facebook marketplace for around about 50 pounds don't have a drive on it so probably not going to get that much in this type of condition but it's still a good mower and still a lot better than you could probably buy in your local B&Q at the minute I always say that because they're absolute garbage they're selling now places like screw fix and tool station they don't have a decent mower in there they really are terrible so let's give this a clean up and let's see what's going on so I've just given this a basic wash off, you can see there's loads of paint coming off, it's actually McCulloch looks very similar to the Flymo one that I did about, I don't know, three or four weeks ago so I've put the cover back on, I've just cleaned it up and I'm just going to list this as I've said I'm not going to spend ages servicing it, I just want rid of this one I just want a bit of quick profit on this, but this is something you can do it's not difficult to do once you know these little tips and tricks I'll show you in fact if you go back through all the videos on my channel I think there's about 300 on there now you can start doing this for yourself and turning yourself a little profit even at this time of year the back end of the summer you can still pick these up and store them somewhere and you can always sell these later on next year it's still going to be profit that comes your way so that's just a quick update video of what I've been doing, I've been away, so I've been on holiday with my family I've got back, I've seen this mower, this is the first day back, the wash is still on the line and I've gone and picked this up and repaired it for profit within an hour I've driven for it and just repaired it, it's done as I've said recently I've been working on some other projects as well as a lot of my subscribers know I do have some other YouTube channels, one of which is a review channel which is actually linked in the homepage of my YouTube channel but I'm actually working on a brand new channel which is something that's going to be coming more frequent over the following weeks and months I've actually started up another channel called Stampy's YouTube Tips this is just based on anyone that wants to start and run their own successful YouTube channel I often get comments from subscribers on here asking me how I've got so many subscribers on just a lawnmower channel I can never quite understand it and if you look at some of the uh, the actual views on the videos they're in 200 and 300 thousand views of certain lawnmower repair videos I do so if you're looking to start a YouTube channel of your own you just want some tips and some advice on how to get started on that I will actually link in the top right hand corner now so this channel I've started up it's only got a few videos on there at the minute but over the winter months particularly as I can't do the most as much Stampy YouTube Tips is going to be a channel I'm going to be working on very hard and I'm going to help anyone who wants to start and grow a successful YouTube channel so just a little plug for that thanks for watching I'll get back to you with an update video on just how much I get for this uh, McCulloch mower I'm going to stick it on Facebook Marketplace turn myself a little bit of quick profit put some money back in my bank and I'll see you again next time thanks for watching